Hi, I'm Mark Lehman. Welcome back to uh, Lehman's Terms. And today we have a special guest with us. It's uh, Caleb, the man with no nickname, Starnes. Right here. Five, yeah. four, three, so you think two, you? Right. one, go. That's exactly kind of what I want to do. You just got to watch. That's why you bridge. Like that. If he brings a hard bridge, you just got to watch out. Or you can put your closed guard there, too. You know, but that's about it. Something that I've found with Mark is like, you guys are doing that. They can turn their hips and drop their weight. Right. Or work the wizard and push on your head. Right. Traffic comes in extreme test of strength. <laughs> you get your hips and it's not that bad. Yeah. You can say no to it's not if you can, but I've also had guys so good that I can't get it, but I can almost always snatch a leg out like this. Right. And then maybe switch or switch the gear. I, I like breaking that grip on that. Though. Once you get a single? Yeah. Just, just continue it right up to the side. Yeah, just up to the side. If, you just, if you let go, the guys can start to, like, they're good at counter you know. Yeah. Do you know what uh, Canada's national sport is? Lacrosse. That's right. It's lacrosse. Most Canadians get that wrong. They don't, yeah. they don't have a lot of, you know, Canadian pride. Really? <laughs> is that true? Yeah, is that right, Mark? Wow. So what are you having mm. for dinner tonight? Because Caleb weighs in tomorrow, so I don't want to... I just had a cupcake dinner. before I drank. <laughs> nice. It's nice. pretty good. I'm fat. Tell I'm us about fat. that cupcake. It was good. It was a carrot cake. You know, it had uh, like a sour cream type uh, frosting on it. It was pretty good. Nice. Moist. That, sounds, that sounds good. I'm just going to eat uh, nothing tonight. Nothing. Yeah, I might have some water later on. You know, let loose, have a glass you of get water. Grumpy when you're cutting weight? Mineral water, maybe some Perrier. Do I get grumpy? Yeah. Right near the end, you know. Did you eat anything today? Yes, I did. What'd you have? I went to Los Tacos and <laughs> had a chicken taco. It's How the only thing I ate all day. Time? Not much. I was 193.5 this morning. How long did you cut the weight? About five pounds for the, in the first half an hour to 45 minutes. And then after that, I lose about maybe two to three pounds an hour. Wow. So I'm looking at about an hour of sweating. Well, he's in the sauna, I'm going to be in the Big Mac. Yeah. Thanks. With maybe fries, sitting right outside the door of the sauna and just looking in at me. Fries and a supersized Powerade with that's no ice. Cool. It's like you get more sugar, you know. Thanks. Very important. See, that's why I come down here for Cobra Kai, is for the moral support. And, you know, in this case there's a drunken heckler in the crowd who hates me because I'm Canadian, I'll be able to really deal with that, right? Yeah. yeah. The students here, they get verbally berated on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So if they ever do get into a street fight, somebody talks shit to them, it's not going to I hear that shit every day from my fucking right. instructor. You know, right. So. It won't throw them off. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. very important. It's an important part of self-defense, really. Psychological yeah. training. Yeah. Up on the knee here, a little longer like this. What do you mean? I'm going to encourage him to open his legs if I leave my leg out of here like this a bit. He might start to try and do this, you know? But then he'll let it go. And then he can start to pass. Yeah. I don't know. That's good. That's good. So, what I'm worried about is him holding me so tight here that I can't really move or get any offense going and then they stand us back up again and I have to clinch them and take them down again. Caleb, how do you feel about training here at Layman's? Well, I love it here, you know. I don't get a chance to come here all the time because I'm in Vancouver, but whenever we come down to Las Vegas, Mark's always more than accommodating. We come in here, my manager and one of my uh, training partners, Rob, uh, he's always in here taking privates and uh, training. And we come down and meet up with another uh, guy who trains down here, Jeff Glover, and, and work with him also. So yeah, it's one, it's one of the best, if not the best, uh, grappling gym in uh, Las Vegas. So it's a, it's a great place to come and train and prepare for fights. How'd you guys meet? Hmm. I, Rob? No, actually, I came down here uh, well before that show. I came down here once or twice before that. I just heard about the gym and stopped in. No, I just came in by myself. Was I here? Was yeah, you were here. Yeah, you were here. I remember. See, he doesn't even remember me. I was a I nobody back then. You know what I'm saying? Caleb you know how people are. Yeah. To the next week, we're going to see some more techniques on how to break people's joints or choke them unconscious. <laughs>